What we've got here, this is a ring tangential load tester. Okay. And when we hear the words, you know, high tension, low tension, things like that when it comes to rings, what we're generally talking about is the oil ring tension. How much force does that oil ring putting against the cylinder wall? Okay. So now we can adjust that and check that on the compression rings as well. But on the oil ring, this is this is the largest contributor to friction in the engine is the oil ring. 80% of the friction in the engine is from that. With that said, you know, we have the words high tension, low tension. Well, it's really measured numbers. And in the field, about the only way you have to check it is the old fish scale. We put the oil rings on the piston, hook a fish scale to it, a weighted scale, put them in the cylinder, and pull them through, and we see what it does. Well, that's it's a great way to tell in the field, but the problem is that takes into consideration the bore finish. So the rougher the bore, the higher the number that'll read, the lower, smoother the bore, the lower that number will read. So it's a little bit deceptive. In our world as a manufacturer, we can't have that variable. We have to know exactly the pound force that part is putting out. So we okay. have a master that we're using. In this case, it's 4060. Uh -huh. Goes into a slip ring, uh -huh. kind of like a transmission brake band. We put that in, we set that up. Now I've already got this one ready to go. Okay. And I'm coming in and I'm setting it to a mean of around 10 pounds. It doesn't have to be exact, but right now it's reading about 12 pounds of yep. tension of tangential force it's pulling. I've set that to 4060. As we saw, I've already got the oil rings loaded up into this little simulator. It kind of simulates the oil ring groove. Okay. And we're going to put it in. And this is the agitator. It's going to vibrate and shake all this to shake any friction out that's in the ring stack. And we're going to turn it into the automatic mode. And we're going to let it rip. As you can see right there, it's about a 12 pound oil ring. We'll run that one more time, okay. just so you can see it again. And that's an oil ring tension test. Now